Shall we begin? Let's begin now. So everybody today we showing you how to make a fresh mozzarella and tomato basil salad. I already got the greens on the counter, so let's get started. All right, here's all the greens you'll need. We'll start out with the fresh mozzarella. I already had a tomato that I need to use. Now you can get the, uh, make your own balsamic vinegar glaze. I pre pretty much got this here. It's already pretty much like already thickened already. Extra virgin olive oil. Unfortunately, my store, my grocery store, all the clamshell fresh basil was all like brown and expired. So all I can get was the fresh, yeah, freshly dried. All I can get was the uh, dried basil leaves. I couldn't get the fresh, you know, maybe next time. And these are optional. A little bit of uh, black pepper so upside down. Don't focus on it for some reason. But pepper grinder, there's white uh, and black pepper in it. I know it's not sea salt. It's the only salt that I got right now. Obviously, I got the chopping board that I'm gonna use. I got a plate to put it on. And the only thing I don't have out is a knife. So I'm gonna show you slicing the, um, the tomato and the mozzarella cheese. I probably won't use all this. There's a lot here. I probably end up making uh, a margarita pizza and use the rest of this cheese. Let me show you the, that little salad there. It's kind of funny. It's on there and it's on here too. I don't think there's a no, recipe. Actually, it might be on here. I'll have to look closer. But this is a regular tomato. Couldn't find any heirlooms or any other specialty uh, tomatoes or whatever at my grocery store. That's all I can get. So, so I'm pretty much using what I got. So let's get started. Tomato. I will have to get a knife. I might use all this tomato. I probably won't use the very end of it, but it's. I might. I don't know. I got my ghetto knife. The handle broke on it, so I had to use electrical tape to hold it together. And actually, surprising the electrical tape actually holds in dishwasher. So, uh, I don't know how thick do you like your tomato. That's how thick you uh, want it. So, I'm not corning or anything. I'm not getting rid of the seeds or juice. Um, slices. I don't want to cut into another tomato. How many slices I'll get out of this? I don't know. There's already like two slices of tomato missing from this tomato because I made a sandwich earlier. It was like a turkey, lettuce, and uh, I think of the bread now. So I'm going to try to get one more slice out of it. I won't waste the end piece. I'll probably end up eating that. I got one, two, three, four, and about five slices. Not exactly perfect. Not likely going for perfect either. So what I'm gonna do, since it, I'm gonna use the tomato juice, the moisture from the tomato, I'm gonna take my uh, basil that's dehydrated. And I'm gonna put basil on the tomato. I'm gonna do both sides. Flip it over. You now, kind of, it's a shame that I couldn't get the fresh stuff, and I'm not growing any basil in my garden or anything. I don't want to have a garden either, but maybe one day. I don't know. So that's it for there. And then this part's optional. You can put a little bit of. Uh, I got table salt. I don't have any sea salt. coming out flip it over it again so I can smell the, the basil already mm. that's my other hand it's coming out there you go with salt and once again pepper optional you don't have to put pepper in it I swear the basil has already have basil already has a peppery flavor but it don't have the heat. But I want like a little bit of heat and a little bit more peppery flavor. 
Not much. There we go. And the same thing. Flip it over. That's already small. That already smells awesome already. More pepper. So I'll let the little tomato sit there for a little bit. The cheese says does have an open, uh, easy open, I think, in the corner here. Now the difference between fresh mozzarella and like your regular like uh, like block stuff that you shred, this has a lot more moisture in it content. Um, When this cheese does melt, you will get a cheese pull out of it, but there's like more moisture in it, more liquid. Oh, it smells good too. Uh, probably should be using. No, I'm gonna grab a paper plate. I don't like using dairy. I'm saying I don't like using uh, cutting cutting the mozzarella on the on here. Tomato cheese don't matter. I can wash that off with dairy. I don't know. I don't, not really a fan. So, uh, it's semi like a ball shape, but there's a flat side, and I'm just gonna, it's like, slice from that side. And then again, it's like, how thick do you want your cheese? Cheese is soft. So make sure your knife is nice and sharp. And this is not the mozzarella cheese that has the um, cream. I guess I'm gonna use well. Huh? I kind of screwed that up. You want it on the thin side. Kind of hard to show. You don't want like a real thick. I kind of messed that up. I'm just gonna get the knife started to here. And I don't know if I can. Get another slice out of this or not. I think it'll be perfect. And the same thing with this other slice. I'm going to get it started. We're saying it's going to be perfect. <clears throat> All right. Got right, your cheese. Tomato already sliced. So now I'm going to do is uh, plate it up. Side. Your fancy plate. I was gonna get a different angle here. I could probably zoom in a little bit. You can see it a little bit better. So, I'm gonna start out with the tomato. There. I'm supposed to put like a piece of cheese in. And then, if you have fresh basil, you're supposed to put tomato. Mozzarella cheese, piece of basil, and then like another tomato. I'm do another tomato. Uh, I already just gotta go back and forth. Different cheese. I still have to cut this in half, right? I'm not saying it'll look perfect. I don't know. I'm going to keep saying that, but... Yeah, it's kind of small. I'll eat this piece. We're going to get some herbs on it from the counter. A bit of salt and pepper and all that. I will wash the counter, the chopping board, really well with hot water. No soap. I'm going to start out with uh, extra virgin olive oil. You just uh, drills it on here. Try to get some on the actual plate here. It's probably good. I should do a little bit more at the top here. Olive oil is good for you. So you just, this brain here, you have to shake it up. Balsamic vinegary 
vinaigrette grade glaze. There's no recipe on the back. I was sitting there reading it. This tells you what you can actually use it for. You know, this shows the salmon and uh, basically what I'm making. But there's like breads, capers, and other stuff in the picture. But you can literally do the same thing. Drizzle it on here. Make sure a little bit of everything. It's everywhere. Now, if you want, you can take a little bit of extra basil. Sprinkle that on top a little bit everywhere. A little bit of salt. Not much. And final. A bit of pepper. That way you can. There you have it. I'm kind of zoomed in. Try to get a thumbnail. I know it doesn't look as good because you don't see the actual leaf from the actual basil. You can see like the green, like uh, like here. You can see the green leaves and stuff. Some places at restaurants you can get this. It has like uh, tomatoes and onions and. Um, olives i don't have any olives so i'm not gonna do that and i'm having silver and i got a fork and knife i'll show you guys so uh not really much really to to it to eat it you say a little bit of uh, tomato onion mixed with the sauce olive oil a bit of vinaigrette on it there's my bite and I will show me eating it on camera and I'll do a little review on it all right here's the salad done I'm gonna get another thumb I already cut into it so I'm gonna get another thumbnail here's a bite that I uh, showed you so hopefully the basil's uh rehydrated so let's give it a try see if it's actually any good or not so cheers everybody That's pretty good. I can't tilt the blade too much. I gotta tilt it back towards me because the olive oil is going that way. Tomato's nice and fresh. I need the fresh tomato. Still get the basil flavor. It's probably not as uh, good as the fresh. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I probably wouldn't end up making this again with uh, the better ingredients, but it still tastes good. With the vinaigrette, a little olive oil, salt and pepper on it. It's awesome. So uh, I need my little. Uh, salad there i know there's a name for it by now i don't know can't pronounce it anyway so so i'm enjoying my tomato and mozzarella salad if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave a comment below subscribe button more videos thanks for watching and peace out